Welcome one and everyone to this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings, episode 100 and 148, 148, that's right, the 148th episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings. Ads? <laughs> Are you guys really seeing an ad right now? Okay, I, I guess I got the ads working, huh? Alright, that's alright, hold on. This gives me a chance to fill my scotch glass. So, hang on ladies and gents, I know you guys are watching an ad right now, but... There we go. Right? Okay, ads over? Sorry. I actually didn't intend for ads to appear at the beginning of the show. Uh, yeah, I know I've got an extra big glass today. It's only because all my small glasses are dirty, my small scotch glasses, so... No, I'm not going to drink this entire bottle of the fantastic Scoresby, a uh, affordable scotch that happens to be blended, but also tastes fairly nice. Um, but I will be drinking a dollop. Just a dollop. Anyway, thank you for coming to this week's episode of Scotch and Smoke Rings, ladies and gentlemen. Episode 148. I would never encourage you to click on ads, because that would be wrong. So that's just where I stand. Cheers, ladies and gents. Bottoms up. Now, uh, contrary to my habit here at scotchandsmokerings.com, I am not going to smoke a pipe. No, I will not even be smoking a cigar. No, instead today, many of you will be reacquainted with one of my fascinating little gadgets called the electronic pipe. Now, the smoke in this thing is pretty low, so I'm going to replace it real quick. Uh, if you guys would like to see how this is done, this is how you replace the cartridge in an electronic pipe. That's right, there is no combustion, no fire, no tobacco, no smoke. Harmless water vapor. I even have the kind of cartridges that are nicotine-free. I'm not even getting a jolt of nicotine from this. This is complete and pure, utter safeness with water vapor. So... This is how it works. You take off the stem like this, and you reveal the old cartridge, which you have to gingerly remove without pressing it too far deep. Or do that. <laughs> gingerly, he says. Then, that's what it looks like in there. Then, you take the bullet shaped capsule. As you can see, it says no right there on the cartridge. That means that there is no nicotine. It's a nicotine-free capsule. There you go. And you got to pull this little wax doodad off the tip there. That exposes the gelatin. Once the gelatin is duly exposed, you stick it in here, and you twist it around until it clicks. You press it down in there like that. Replace the nozzle, snap it in place, and then check out that nice thick smoke. I can even do smoke drinks. Look at that. Zion says, stick that in your pipe and smoke it. Indeed, Zion. Indeed. <laughs> I should hire you as an oxhorn writer. I really should. <laughs> All right, did my tweets go out? It did. And my tweets went out on time. What do you know? Corbin Six says, Ox, you killed my bro and my heart. I don't understand. Why would I kill such things? I am not in the habit of killing anything, let alone bros and hearts. Autumn says, did you get my fan art, Ox? I did. I got your awesome fan art. I loved it. And I'm going to show it off in just a moment. But first we have to drink a little scotch. So hold on. Here we go. Now, it's summer. Well, not yet. So it's going to officially be the start of summer in a few days. Memorial Day is the official start of summer, right? So it's hot, basically, is what I'm trying to say. It's hot and sunny 
here in Seattle. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. And uh, because of this, the sun is peeking through the curtains and hurting my eyes. Ow. Ow, that's my eyeball. Stop it, son. Ow, my eye. So, uh, I hope I don't get blind. <sighs> curtains. Yeah. Oh, that actually hurt. Why did I do that? I'm not supposed to look into the sun. That's like living as a human 101. Ishibu says nice in the uh, Twitch TV chat. Well, it is a pleasure to have you here, Ishibu. Uh, we've got a fantastic show for you all today. Lots of news. So if you have been follow, oh man, Whew. if you have been following me on Twitter and Facebook, you'll see an episode that I shot recently with the Mind Flame guys. That's right, Clint Ackleman from Mind Flame. We sat down to play a game called Shoot Many Robots. I think is what it's called. It was actually a lot of fun. It was a fun game called Shoot Men and Robots. And I tweeted out the link to that on YouTube if you want to check it out. Uh, we've got a lot of great things going on. Your screen keeps going blurry. says Findura the Almighty Hunter. Yes, I know. And it's because it's got some sort of autofocus thing going on. So if I hold completely still, it's going to be fine, right? I can't move not much at all. But if I start getting like this, and then back, and then doing these crazy things, it's going to... Yeah, see, there it goes, right? Yeah, it's because of the autofocus. So, yeah. I'll try and stay in one spot. But you got the other cameras, right? Yeah, I have my trifecta thing going on right now. I've got this where I'm looking at you. And now I can look at you even more. And, hi. Oh, look. Look at you sneaky people back there spying on my back. Look, you know, I, I just don't have any privacy here in my own home. What's going on? Smoke rings. All right, so as you know, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to answer your questions. We're, all, we're almost there. We've got a bit of uh, the opening portion of the show to get through before we get to your fantastic questions. I know uh, you have the questions, and I have the answers. Uh, before we get there, however, I need to let you know where you can go to ask such questions. I give precedence to questions asked of me on Twitter just because it's easier for me. I love it when I get some tweets from you nice t t Twitter people. Uh, so I am at Oxhorn on Twitter. Feel free to send me a message at Oxhorn. I will be, do my very best to respond to it. Uh, I am also on Facebook. And actually, you can post a message to me on Facebook right here from scotchandsmokerings.com. If you scroll down a little bit, there's a comment section. Uh, the latest comment was five hours ago from Michael, who's talking about time zones. I'm sorry, Michael. He says, the whole system of time zones seems to hate me. If you stream at 7 p.m. Pacific time, it's 4 a.m. in Ger Germany, and because I have to go to work tomorrow morning, I'm forced to watch your show on YouTube. I'd love to watch your show live and smoke a fine cigar with you, but I simply can't. That makes me really, really sad. Michael, look, you're breaking my heart here, buddy. I wish you could smoke a classy stogie with me. I really do. Look, you just need to hop on a plane and come to Seattle and then find an internet cafe and that way you'll be on the right time, right? You may be a little jet lagged, but, uh, you know, maybe one of these days when you get a week off work or something, you can watch the show at, at, a, at a Seattle time zone sort of thing. But no, I sympathize, guys. I really do. If, if I had, like, doppelgangers, like triplets of myself, then I would broadcast at different times for different time zones. But seeing as how there are dozens of time zones, that would be hard. But I'm working on it. The technology is there. I'm going to leave it up to Apple. They'll figure it out. Ishibu says, nice, that is a lovely pipe you have. Thank you very much. I should probably share the link where I got it. It wasn't that expensive. This was 30 bucks. The replacement capsules, they come in a, in a container like this. I got it from China. They come like this. It's the Pipe 601 electronic pipe. It's actually kind of hard to find, so I hope you guys can find it. But the capsules come in little bullet-sized containers like this, and the replacement capsules are incredibly cheap. I think for 30 bucks, I got enough replacements to last me years so it's a cost-effective way to smoke absolutely nothing but water vapor that's right that's right smoke rings guys 
Oh, in addition, I am uh, not only checking my comments here at scotchandsmokerings.com and on TweetDeck, but also all of you fine ladies and gentlemen who are posting in this chat, I see you, right? And if you're on the Twitch TV chat, I see you also. I'm not ignoring you. I am not a man to ignore. And uh, in, in fact, if you happen to be on facebook.com slash oxhorn page and would prefer to post a comment that way, I will, of course, heed your request and do my very best to answer. So facebook.com slash oxhorn page. There's a new little thread I posted on my wall that says streaming live. Post your comment there to that status update and I will do my best to answer. Matt Workman says gives Haskir a shout out. What's a Haskir? Is it some sort of German chocolate? This is a big scotch glass, right? I should not be drinking this much scotch. But that's mostly water, melted water, so I don't feel too bad. <laughs> Shyster says, hey Ox, how are you, Nova and baby Gavin, doing this fine summer day? We are doing very well. And for those of you who don't know, my beautiful wife, Nova, here in the chat, is pregnant with our first child. We're going to call him Gavin, and she's going to pop at any moment, like a balloon. She's just going to go, and then the boy will be there in his beard and derby uh, in, in literally like a, a week or two. So it's going to be quite an adventure. Uh, I'll be sure to share f uh, photos on my Facebook wall. But anyway, uh, that's beside the point. We are quite busy here at the Oxhorn family getting ready for the baby. We got a new stroller system. It's called the Orbit G1 something. I don't know. But apparently it's like the Cadillac of stroller systems for babies. So our little baby boy is going to be rolling around in the G1 Orbit system. And I'm pretty excited about that. And we're doing like a, a space theme for his nursery. And so we've got like space photos on the wall and space diapers no not really it's more like bedding we've got space bedding and we just got some teethers through the mail we bought them off Etsy little wooden teethers it's I'm looking forward to it I'm gonna have a lot of fun Rob5020 biz on Twitter says, Hey Oxhorn, just wondering how much the average classy cigar might go for. Hashtag bacon, Oxhorn rules, and death to elves. You sir. All right, gentlemen and a scholar, I love your hashtags. <laughs> uh, it depends. It really does. You can get a real cheap, bad quality cigar from any gas station for a couple bucks. If you want a nice quality cigar, you're going to need to go to a tobacco shop. Your local tobacconist will have a fine selection. You could probably get a decent... Romeo and Juliet for ten bucks. Eight to ten bucks would be, it would give you a good a good classy cigar. All right, I got fan art to show off. Hang tight, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of fan art. All right, where's the fan art? I guess I better show you my screen. Okay. Oh man, my little. Ah oh, man, I'm mean, gonna gotta add this all over again. All right, hold on. No, nope, that's not doing it either. Okay, hold on. Adding a camera. Uh, there we go. Well, now it's too big. Here, let me shrink that. Move it over there. Bingo. We're good. We're golden. So, um, let me get this to the right size. Okay, so this was submitted by Daniel Rosencrantz, and it says, Oxhorn Brand Movies, classiness taken to a higher level. And I have to admit, that's pretty great. There's Oxhorn right over there in the corner being classy. And look at this. It's got a sort of masculine broken glass or aluminum steel thing going on. Light, nice, I like it. Thank you for that. This was submitted by the intrepid Greg Hartung, who always submits something amazing. And I've seen these before. These are... Bacon, burger, and hot dog turtles. Right? Here, I'll zoom in for you guys. Look. <laughs> this isn't even right. I'm hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. I just got back from a, a long day at work. And here I am. Look at these things cooked. Oh, you can see the cheddar cheese. And All right, I'm not going to think about it. He's got uh, some text here. He says, hot dogs, burger patties, plus bacon. Redneck, 
Turtle Burgers. Greatest culinary invention yet. Warning, Hat may not approve. Indeed, Hat the Singing Turtle may be quite upset. Uh, but I, I do approve. That is really an epic form of food. So, thank you for that, Greg Hartan. Next is this amazing piece of original fan art from Autumn. Look at this. This is hand-drawn with uh, pencils, like colored pencils, I think. <laughs> Oxhorn is, not only has his awesome derby, he's got the pipe. He's, he's looking pretty stellar in his suit. And look, scotch and smoke rings. Created by Autumn. I'm, I'm just plum tickled by this. I really am. I'm going to have to put it up on my Facebook page. So thank you for that, Autumn. That was a a fantastic bit of fan art. You guys, you guys really rock. Where's the smoke? There we go. Alright. Now we also got a, a bit of fan art submission from somebody who made his own machinima movie. And I normally don't uh, show off other people's machinima, but if you are a fan and you, ta you take the time to head on over to scotchandsmokerings.com and submit your work, well, by Jove and golly gee, gumdrops, etc., I might as well show off a little bit of it. So here is, uh, I'm going to pause my music. If I can find it. There we go. So let's take a look here. I'm going to show you guys this guy's uh, new machinima piece. Yeah, that autofocus is really annoying. I'm sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I'll try and fix that next time. All right, Pygmy Rock. Let's try this. Uh huh. Oh my, what's this? We got some rock going on here. Let's, let's turn it up and... Okay, I see. So we have some gnomes singing the party rock anthem. This is a, a machinima made by Black Fang Machinima, by the way. Check out their work. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping it's all classy stuff. And we have a bunch of gnomes dancing to party rock anthem in a high-pitched tenor. Right? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to show the whole thing because it's pretty long, but thank you for that one, Black Fang Machinima. Uh, always, always happy to show off uh, your machinima inventions. By the way, I've been getting a lot of requests on my contact form from people who are wondering what kind of music I play here at scotchandsmokerings.com, and I try to play a classy assortment. Yeah, there goes the autofocus thing again. I'm sorry. Every time I move, it does that. Uh, but I try to play an assortment of classy music from the 20s and 30s. And I actually found this fantastic radio station. Zion is the one who's, who sent me the link to it. It's called Radio Dismuke. Let me turn it up a little bit so you can hear what I'm listening to today. Oh. That was the end of the song. What do we got? What's next? Not bad. A little slow. That's okay. We're not going to hate. So uh, that's the music I listen to. It's called Radio Dismuke. D-I-S-M-U-K-E. Radio Dismuke. Officer Patrica on Twitter says, Evening Ox. I'm so sorry I haven't been around for three whole episodes going through rough stuff. Erola. We've all been there before. Many kudos to you. Chairs hang in there. Uh, but I made it for tonight. Cheers, man. Always a pleasure. Great to have you here, Patrick. Uh, hang in there. These things happen. These things happen. Uh, Jonathan 84 says, My wife is feeling bad over the last few weeks. Can she get some digital hugs? Absolutely. You know, my beautiful wife, the uh, gorgeous Nova Domina, is in the latest stages of her pregnancy. She's getting ready to just spew forth life. Spew forth life. And consequently, she's feeling a little fragile. So I totally understand what it is like to have a, a, a woman in your life whom you love who is a little under the weather. So here are some digital hugs all the way from Oxhorn in Seattle. Digital hugs. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Digital hugs, hugs, hugs. 
Looks there you go. Sorry, yeah, I know my my wording was a little insensitive. I do apologize. But it's like well, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> That's just the way these things happen, right? That's how I, never mind. I'm not gonna mention vi you know. Would it be insensitive of me to No, I'm not even gonna bring that up. Well, we've got it we got a fantastic show for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Are we doing a spoken word rendition today? Asks Chaotic Enigma. You s I am so glad you asked. Uh, we do have a spoken word version today. Now, it has become custom here, customary at scotchandsmokerings.com, for me to uh, perform a spoken word version of a popular song. Nova Domina, my beautiful wife, says, you insensitive clod. I deserve that. I really did. Uh... Anyway, uh, so I have tried my very best to pick songs that would relate to the youth and the children because I understand that it is really the young that drive all music culture because their tastes are so great. Uh, so today I thought I would pick a song that is apparently incredibly popular due to the number of views it has on YouTube. Uh, and I chose this song due, due to the, uh, just the poetic nuances in the lyrics just poetic nuances right you, you just you hear the words and you go oh I think differently about life now uh, so here we go today's spoken word version of popular music is dance again by Jennifer Lopez featuring some other guy I forget <clears throat> Dance, yes. Dance next. Dance, yes. Love, next. Shimmy, shimmy ya. Shimmy yam, shimmy yay. Apparently. Um, sorry, I got distracted. Shimmy ya, shimmy ya, yeah, shimmy yam. Shimmy yay. Oh, I'm... I'm an old dirty dog all day. No way, Jose. Your girl. Only go one way. I me madre. Poetry. You should check that out. Oh no, we're getting interrupted by interference. Hold on. Is is this the internet telling me that I shouldn't be doing this? Maybe. Maybe it is. There we go. I paused it. Maybe I should listen to the internet telling me not to do this. But here we go. We're going to go forward. Here we go. Maybe you ain't turn her out. Maybe it's none of my business. But for now, work it out. Let's get this, Dale. Who's Dale? Nobody knows what I'm feeling inside. I find it so stupid. So why should I hide? That I love to make poetry with you, baby. Yeah, make poetry to me. Sorry. So many ways want to make poetry to you tonight. <clears throat> I'm a big girl. No secrets this time. Yeah. I love to make poetry to you, baby. Yeah, make poetry to me. This is just, man, come on, people. Where's your class factor? <clears throat> Hold on, scotch up. <clears throat> if this would be a perfect world, we'd be together. Then let's do it. Do it. Do it. I'm sure they're talking about calisthenics. Only got just one life. This I've learned. Who cares what they're going to say? Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. I want to dance and love and dance again. I want to dance and love and dance again. Dance, yes. Love, next. Dance, yes. Love, next. 
Baby, your fire is lighting me up. The way you move, boy, is reason enough. Wait a minute, wasn't I a girl a moment ago? No? A boy? That I love to make poetry to you. Yeah, make poetry to me. I can't believe, oh, I want you so much. Your lips taste like heaven. So why should I stop? Yeah, I love to make poetry to you, baby. Yeah, make poetry to me, baby. You know, I just don't have it in me to do any more. I tried. I, I really did. I gave it uh, the gentlemanly go-ahead. And, you know, when a song, all it does is talk about poetry over and over again, that's just insecure, right? You're writing poetry. You don't have to write about how you're writing poetry. Anyway. Uh, so we're done with that. That was, what, what's it called again? The name of that wonderful piece of art. Dance Again by Jennifer Lopez. Thank you, J-Lo. You have added yet another nugget to the KFC bucket that is culture. <laughs> All right, turning up the class. I'm trying to get to the camera. I'm probably messing it all up. The autofocus is probably going crazy. Let me try again. I got it. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Cheers. Moon Fairy X of Winterhoof says, This is my first time here and I feel so out of place. What? What could it possibly be? The fact that your name is Moon Fairy X? No! We are tolerant of and love Moon Fairies here at scotchandsmokerings.com. You are welcome, actually. By the way, welcome. Leet Speak is good. Ox does it good, says Iron Bark. I try. I try. I, I sometimes find myself in the shower going, Hello, well, I'm going to go with the Gadirukun BBQ. I can't control it. It's just one of those, like, Tourette's. Hello, well, I'm going to go with the Gadirukun BBQ. It's not something. You know, it's, it's, it's a handicap, so try not to laugh. Do. Do try not to laugh. Sam Nichols says, Pays for laser eye surgery. Looks in the sun on purpose. I did do that, didn't I? Not very smart. <laughs> John Begley says, Hey, Ox, would you ever make an Oxhorn medley, too? You have enough episodes now for another, and you should include some classics. By the way, sorry I missed your show last week. I was in good old Philly with no Wi-Fi. QQ. Cry more, my friend. That is a, a, that is a tragedy. Being in Philly is horrible enough, let, let alone without Wi-Fi. Uh, I take that back. Anyone from Philly, my love and, and, and class to you. I'm just being a jerk, that's all. Uh, but, yeah, I, I do plan to make a... a Actually, I don't know. I would love to make an Oxhorn Band medley, too. The first one did well, right? And I do have fun with them, so. Your beard has really grown out since the last show, says Autumn. Um, has it? I kind of just combed it. Is it longer? I can grab it now. Yeah, I guess it is pretty long. All right, Mortu's fan, our, our very good officer, uh, apologizes for not for being late and missing the last show, and needs digital classy man hugs uh, due to things going on in life. We all have times when things go on in life. Uh, Patrica is going through such times. We have always been there. We have all been there before. So many digital hugs all the way from Seattle. Digital hugs. Bring it on in for the digital hugs, and uh, many classy tips of the hat to you. Storm White Runs Gate says, I didn't get noticed today. My friend, we've got 30 minutes less left in this show. That is plenty of time for everyone. Well, not everyone, but many people. 
to get noticed today. Uh, it's it's impossible for everyone to get noticed. I can't notice you all. I only have two eyes, and they can only gaze on so much at any given time. It's just the only way. Nathan Holyhammer says, "Me neither." Look, I I say your name often. Nethella, huh? Neth Nethella, me the law. Hold, I don't even know how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. I apologize. Nethella Holy Holyhammer. Net Hella Holy Hammer. That's probably what it is. Net Hella Holy Hammer. Net Ella. Oh, okay. I, I was right. My apologies. Wait, wasn't there an eye in your beard? No. Not an eye. That is, however, where I hold my superpowers. In the form of a turtle nest. Refreshing Facebook for Son and Om. Uh, absolutely. Here we go. What have we got here today? Uh, Ox, teach me some smoke rings, says Matt. It's my name. Yes, it is your name, Matt. You want to know how to do smoke rings? Absolutely. Okay, hold on a moment. Robert says, hey, Ox, what is your favorite type of cigar and favorite type of scotch? My favorite type of scotch is Glenfiddich and Laphroaig. Those two are tied. They're really great. Glenvelt is also a fine scotch. All of them single malt, of course. 10 to 12 years are the best. Your favorite type of cigar? I'm going to have to go with... Um, a Nica Libre. I just I had one a while ago. I haven't had one in a very long time. But the last time I had a Nica Libre, it was delicious. So Nica Libre. Uh, Santeri says, "What gave you the idea of getting an e-pipe?" Well, uh, I now live in a place where, you know, I, I can't smoke in the house like I used to. Uh, plus, my beautiful wife is pregnant with our first child, and I can't smoke around her. So instead, I use this. And it works. Works well. Oxhorn, I have a request. Can you show us the making of your Oxhorn videos? That is a great question. I, I've done a few videos where I've done some behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, but I, you know, I, ca I can't sit down and make a video for you right now. Uh, that, that would take time. So maybe some other day. Matt Workman says, teach me to smoke ring. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to teach you to smoke ring. Here we go. This is how you blow epic, epic smoke rings. So first, of course, you take the smoke into your mouth. What many people do not realize is that you don't actually inhale the smoke. When it comes to cigars and classy tobacco pipes, you bring the smoke into your mouth, taste the flavor, and then expel it. You don't actually inhale it. So you bring the smoke into your mouth, and then you have to blow it out in a certain way. It really has to do with the shape of your lips and uh, how you use your tongue. So there are a number of ways to do it. My favorite way is to do a tongue flick. So make a perfect circle with your lips. And then let's pretend like this is your tongue. This is the base. This is the tip. Then pull your tongue back and flip it out like that. Just kind of flick it. You're flicking it. So it'll look like this. Got a few good ones in there. Right? There are other ways to do it. You could do a jaw. So instead of flicking your tongue like that, you just use your jaw and you go. Right? Or you could flick your cheek. It's hard for me to do that one, but there are a number of ways to do it. Lepidus says, Octone, did you receive my question earlier? No, my friend, I did not receive your question. Uh, it's it's I don't always see everything that flies by. I've got a, a dozen different things going up here, so uh, my my advice is to continue to ask questions and hopefully I will see it. Rephrase it so that it's not identical. You don't want to spam me, but uh, yeah. 
Scotty Moran says, hello, good sir. How are you tonight? And hello, cuz. I am doing well, Scotty Moran. It's been a long time since we've had you here on the show. For those who remember, many months ago, I actually had Scotty. He's my cousin. He lives in Kentucky. I had him on the program. That guy can grow an amazing beard. He really can. That guy, his beard, it's like, man, that's a manly beard. So, uh, pleasure to have you here, my friend. I wish you were sitting here next to me enjoying a gentlemanly cigar. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, no. Guess what? Some evil goblin is whispering in my ear. What is he saying? He's saying... He's saying that it's... It's time for a commercial. I can't put another commercial. These poor guys, they come all the way to scotchandsmokerings.com and they take time out of their day. I can't make them... What? What's that you say? I have to give them a commercial? Or you will pluck out my beard? Oh! Oh, that's evil. All right, I guess we're going to have to do a commercial. Uh, not of my doing. The evil goblin told me to do so, so... Here we go. There you go. 30 second commercial break. Cheers, ladies and gents. I got... I'm sorry. I have to do it. It's like something about money. I don't know. I need it. <laughs> Jonah FX2 says ad block too strong. I don't even know what that means, but if you're using an ad block software, then I am very devastated. I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad in the clavicle. Haskum on Twitch TV says Oxhorn, do you read questions on Twitch? If so, what do you take on? What's your take on Virginian pipe tobacco? I am indeed looking at my questions on Twitch TV, and I do like the uh, Virginian pipe tobacco. I prefer an English blend of pipe tobacco. It's got sort of a traditional rich flavor to it. It's really nice. Uh, but I do like a good Virginian blend. <laughs> There's nothing like a fresh capsule when it comes to an electronic pipe. It just makes the smoke all that much thicker. Rob520biz says, uh, Oxhorn, I may not be a machinima fan, but it makes my day to watch you. Quite frankly, I wish I could watch you every day. Hashtag Elf Stew. Oh, that's an awesome hashtag. Man, these, these guys with the hashtags are just be an awesome day. Well, sir, I wish I could broadcast every day. I could, I would if I could, but uh, sadly I have to go to the proverbial day job every day, which keeps me pretty busy. No complaints, though. No complaints. And even if you're not a big fan of machinima, I am... Happy to have you here as a Scotch and Smokerings daily or weekly watcher. Veltonair says, electronic pipe? How is this working? Well, my friend, I wish you had been here at the beginning of the program. I kind of took it apart and showed the bits and pieces. But basically, this is a, uh, it takes a cartridge that's made from water gelatin. This is an exp expired one. I used this one up. But as you can see on the inside, there's like a, a foamy substance that's just water that's been turned into a gel. And uh, it's battery operated, so the electricity from the battery vaporizes the water, turns it into a mist, and uh, it's just water vapor. Panda Bear says, please tell me all this channel is about is you smoking and blowing smoke rings. Why would it be anything else? Cheers, my friend, to scotch and smoke rings. And World of Warcraft. Yes, 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 yes. World of Warcraft as well. We go through that every now and again. I'll play something like Mr. Pindaria. I played that last week. Have you guys seen the new dance? The new Pandaren dance? Yeah. Veltoner says, why are you not smoking some real tobacco, my friend? I normally smoke tobacco here at scotchandsmokerings.com. In fact, this is my pipe tobacco of choice. It's called Dunhill Nightcap, and uh, it's a very fine tobacco. I can't get it open right now. I also use this. This is a... Uh, I'm almost out of it, but this is my blend of... Uh, what, what was the flavor? It's like a butter rum blend of tobacco. 
This is the pipe I smoked last week, exactly where I left it. So I, I do go through uh, tobacco pipes and cigars on a, on a regular basis here. But today, for the first time in months, I just kind of felt like smoking my electronic pipe. Haskum says, if you had been offered the chance to be the pipe smoker of the year, would you accept the offer? My good, my good friend, I, I, I realize what you're saying here, but I'm the pipe smoker of the generation. Of everyone's generation, right? I mean, it's kind of like, would I descend from my pedestal to accept a lesser award of, of the year? Maybe, maybe, but when it comes to pipe smoking, there is no generation, no person among any generation that can be greater than yours truly. I'm also very humble, by the way. Humility, I has it. Scotty Moran says, if anyone has any questions, ask away, and I will try to give an answer. Yes, ask him. He knows much, very, very much about video games. Uh, the last time we chatted about it, he, he knew a bit more than I did, so I'm sure he'd be happy to answer any questions you guys have. Ordo Malia says, so Gavin can have a classy bubble pipe like Nova was looking for, and he, uh, he gave a link. Great, I will share that with my beautiful wife, and uh, we will check it out. So that smoke is just water vapor, says Panda Bear. Yeah, it's just water vapor. So this is, um, the water capsules come in a container like this. And that's what it looks like. It's sealed right now, but as you can see, it's got sparklets of water on it. It's, it's just pure water. Now, you can get capsules that have nicotine in them. Uh, however, I have chosen to go with the no nicotine version. As you can see, this capsule says no on it meaning there's no nicotine, so it's just water. That's all it is. There's, there are no other ingredients to this but water. And then the electricity in this pipe vaporizes it, turning it into a steam. Uh, Veltonair says, so that's not bad for the health? You know, I, I, I don't think so. I haven't read anything that has shown that putting water vapor in your mouth is bad for the health. I mean, if you think about it, you drink water every day, right? And you put it in your mouth. Now, one thing I will say is that some people will use electronic cigarettes and inhale the water vapor, and that could be bad for your health. I mean, after all, if you think about a lot of lung diseases like bronchitis or pneumonia, you kind of have a buildup of fluid in the lungs, which you don't want. I've never smoked an, e an electronic cigarette, so I don't know how it works, but with a pipe and with a cigar, you don't actually inhale the smoke. You just bring it into your mouth and then expel it. So, if you're just tasting water and expelling it, I can't really think why it would be har it, it harmful for you. Veltonair says, does it taste like anything? You can get any number of flavors for your electronic pipe, and you just take a, it comes in a little eyedropper. You put a little drop inside here, and uh, when it vaporizes the gelatin, it also vaporizes the flavor, so you can have it taste like anything you want. Uh, the flavor that I purchased is just tobacco flavor, because I actually like the flavor of my pipe tobacco. Uh, so that's the flavor I'm enjoying right now, but many people will get fruity flavors, like mint or cherries or something. And as you can see, the smoke is fairly thick, right? What's the price of one of these pipes, asks Veltonair? 30 bucks. I got it from China. It's 30 bucks. The replacement capsules are incredibly cheap, so... It's a fairly good investment, in my opinion. Panda Bear 7109 says, Do you know where you can purchase one of these awesome pipes, pipes or water gel capsules? Uh, I do. Tell you what, I, I don't have the links with me handy right now. But follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and I will be sure to update you guys with a link to where I bought them later today or tomorrow. Uh, I'm at twitter.com slash oxhorn or facebook.com slash oxhorn page, all one word. And I'll be sure to give you guys the links after that. Quarantine Chris says, what games are you going to play? That all depends. What games do you guys want me to play? I've got Mists of Pandaria, World of Warcraft, Starcraft 2, uh, nothing. I could play nothing for you. Would you like that? 
I'm, I'm actually rather fond of nothing. It's one of my favorite games. Tawa says August 2nd is a Thursday? Really? That's my birthday. That's a Thursday? May, June, July, August. Oh my gosh, it is! Great! I'll be doing... Guess what I'll be doing for my birthday, guys? This. Yeah. Cheers! <laughs> Let but us 1991 says, would you be available after the show? Because I would want to know if you can partake in a wow machinima slash old school horror movie. Uh, normally I would love to, but sadly I, I can't today. My, my schedule is full up. And honestly, from here on out, I don't know how much more time I'm going to have. Uh, because the baby's coming and we got to get ready. And we're going we're gonna to make some dinner after the show. And then we're going to really work hard on getting this house in order. Getting our hospital bags in order. So we, we, we've got a busy schedule. So not today, but... You know what, maybe you should ask some of the fans here who are in the chat if they would like to help you with making your machinima. I'm sure they'd love to. <laughs> I had some good ones in there. I love this thing. I thought this was broken, actually. I thought I, I haven't smoked it in a while because I thought it was broken, but then I found it laying on uh, some random table and I put it back together and it works. So, pretty excited. Scotty Moran says, "Ox, do you have a set there for me? Cause I may join you soon. But if you come up here to Seattle when it comes to scotch and cigars, forget about it. You are not going to be in need. I've got you set. Are you coming up here?" If so, we may have a co-host, a regular co-host of this fine program, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to refresh Facebook because I know you fine Facebook fans tend to be uh, rather uh, fanatical about your fine posts. I was trying to do alliteration there, but... Alright, I'm going to check out what you guys got going on over here. Uh, Alex says, by the way, Oxford, my wow, Ma uh, Mr. Pandaria beta keeps crashing. Do you know the solution? Um, yeah, so what I had to do is I had to actually go into the installation folder on my C drive and then open it directly from that folder, the wow beta.exe, instead of opening the launcher, and then that got it to work for me. So try opening the uh, executable file directly instead of using the launcher, and that may work. Haskum says, well, that's one way to kick off summer vacation, scotch and smoke rings. Indeed, there's no better way to, uh, to kick off summer vacation than with scotch, with oxhorn, and with smoke rings. Officer Evil says, what do you think of the new MMORPG Elder Scrolls? I, for one, am really excited about it. I know that there are many people in chat right now who love that game and are really excited to see a massive multiplayer online RPG version of it. Uh, am I going to play it? I probably won't play it just because I don't have time in my life at this moment to play video games like that, let alone an MMO. But I'll probably be keeping up on the news, and I, I may tinker with it a little bit. So I am excited. Girl or a boy, says Veltanar. It is a boy. His name is going to be Gavin, and I am excited to see exactly how much facial hair he has upon his birth. I came out with this, by the way. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Bottoms up. El Toro Guaco says, uh, pleasure to see you again, El Toro Guaco, by the way. Says, Oxhorn, do you like Harry Potter? Um, <laughs> can I on answer honestly? I've never read the books. Not a word of any of the books. I have seen some of the movies, like the first three movies. And i got to say it's interesting in terms of movies. I, I realize that the movies are so worse than the books. I understand that. I get it. I'm not really motivated enough to read the books. 
And if, if, if I'm going to read anything, I could be reading G.K. Chesterton, for example, or C.S. Lewis. Why would I stoop to... I'm not going to say stoop, because that's a little condescending. But uh, the movies were okay. They were so-so. Um, I should probably read the books someday. Nixonator says, hooray for not reading the books. High fives, high fives to you, sir. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Officer Patrica says, uh, "Did you have some sort of training for when the baby comes? Don't mind me. I'm just a fan. I'm just fangirling over the new baby." <clears throat> yeah, you know. Uh, look, my philosophy on that is that cavemen for centuries have been able to figure out the whole procreation thing. When it came to conception, there wasn't a guide for that. They kind of figured it out, and it worked well for them. When it came to the birthing process, it sort of kind of happens. They figure it out. It's not that big of an issue. It's not like rocket science. Now, have uh, my beautiful wife and I prepared? Yeah, we've read some books. We're going to the doctor regularly. We're getting instruction. We're getting advice and all that. But am I going to sign up for like a six-week seminar on everything I need to do to prepare? Probably not. Uh, cavemen figured it out. I think I also will be able to figure it out. Good philosophy. You agree? Yes. Hascom says, have you read The Hobbit? And are you looking forward to the movie? Yes, indeed, I, I am and I have. I have read everything Tolkien has ever written. Quiz me. I know it all. Including The Silmarillion. Uh, and uh, I am very much looking forward to The Hobbit. Both my wife and I are thrilled about The Hobbit. We're huge Tolkien fans. We've seen the trailer. We are excited. So, yes, we are looking forward to The Hobbit. Veltonar says, don't you think that a beard in summer is kind of hot? Strangely enough, I don't feel hotter because of the beard. I actually feel hot just, you know, wearing clothes and being outside. Uh, I don't really feel like my face is much hotter because of the heat. And, you know, it's kind of windy, you know. There's not a whole lot of heat insulation in here. It's not like I'm putting my hand in my beard and, ah, it's an oven. It's the beard. No, it's sort of just kind of breezy. So, no, I don't feel terribly hot. <laughs> guys are funny. PandaBear7109 says, I think I found the pipe. Can you post the link so that I can check? If you want, uh, the brand of the pipe is Pipe 601. These are the specific capsules for it. You have to buy the right ones for the right pipe. So if that's the pipe you have, then that's probably the, the right pipe. Pipe 601. Good question. Hascom says, what's your thought about Peter Jackson not including Tom Bombadil in the movie, seeing he's such an interesting character in the book? I'm glad you asked that question. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm really frustrated, but I also understand it. So, if I were a Tolkien purist, I would say, you have got to include Tom Bombadil. However, I also realize why they did it. I mean, Tom Bombadil shows up for one moment in the book. He kind of fiddles with the ring. If you watch the extended features of the Lord of the Rings uh, DVD section, they explain that, look, what Tom Bombadil does is he takes the ring, he puts it on, and nothing happens. And that he strips the ring of all power, as Fran Walsh says. So why are you going to introduce a character who is not affected by the ring, and then have someone like Frodo who is go on this huge intensive journey that is personally taxing on him when you could just give the ring to Tom Bombadil and he could prance into Mordor and toss it into the lake, right? Um, you, you kind of blow a little bit of the weight of the ring at that moment. So I completely understand their reasoning for not including Tom Bombadil, yet I can also completely understand the fans who are purists wanting Tom Bombadil. It's, you know, it's a matter of preference. There's no right answer when it comes to that. 
Cranther says, ask Tolkien. Yeah, very very true. Ask Tolkien. By the way, I found an awesome interview with Tolkien, a video in interview with Tolkien that just recently got released, and I shared it with my fans on Facebook. Uh, feel free to follow me on facebook.com slash oxhorn page to check out that interview. What? Five minutes left in the show? You're... What? Hold on a second. There's five minutes left in the show, and the goblin is telling me that we need another 30-second commercial. No! Goblin, don't do it! Don't press that button! He did. He pressed the commercial button. I didn't want him to. I wanted to save you all from that evil capitalist commercial. But <sighs> the goblin was a, a capitalist, and a, what, what, yeah, I just I don't have the power to defeat that that poor goblin. Goldbreath says, ha ha ha, no commercial, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not all going to see the commercial, only some of you will see it. But if you see it, <laughs> great, because that means I get more money. More money, more money. Nixon Editor says, what do you think about the upcoming movie Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, or maybe it's Slayer, regardless, thoughts? <sighs> I don't know. Will I see it? I don't know. I haven't even seen the Avengers movie yet. But I hear that's amazing, and I really want to see it. I just haven't seen it yet. Mortus fan says, LOL, a vodka commercial on scotchandsmokerings.com. Yes, I see the irony, right? <laughs> but hey, at least they're targeting you with an alcohol commercial. It means that at least they've got something right with their algorithms. Haskum says, Mo money, mo problems, Oxhorn. I disagree. Read Ecclesiastes, my friend. What does it say? Money is the answer to all ails. It also says the love of money is the root of all evil, so you have to balance it out there. You don't want to love money. You want to have money. See the difference? Two distinct things. Jabba JJ1 says the Avengers was terrible. Panda Bear 7109 says Avengers was dope. Here we have two diametrically opposed opinions about the Avengers movie. And I, having never seen the movie, have to decide between the two. Shall I go and spend my hard earned money on two hours of awesomeness? What I think is awesomeness. Watching the Avengers and superheroes kick the proverbial butt. Or. Shall I listen to Jabba J and not go see this, what is apparently a horrible movie? I just, I just cannot, uh, I cannot decide. It's hard. Cranther says dope is bad for you. Does that mean I shouldn't see the movie? Phaedra says my friends won't get off my case for not seeing it. And yet Randoran says I will wait for the DVD. It seems that opinion is varied and mixed in this chat. Jabba JJ1 says, don't do it. Too much storyline. But the action was decent. Well, I've never actually seen the comics, so would I appreciate storyline? Or would I think that I was beyond the story and I didn't need it to enjoy the movie? One of those eternal questions, my friends. One of those eternal questions. Veltenaire says, what do you do for a living? I am the marketing manager at a digital marketing company. I am in charge of the blog, social media, community management, search engine optimization, copywriting, and all of that jazz. So I keep myself pretty busy. Pretty busy. Blue 214 says, only 10 minutes left. Hee <laughs> hee, I wanted to see the beta. One minute left in the show now after your comment. Do I have enough time to open up the beta and show you maybe some scenery? If you really want to see the beta, my friend, I have videos of myself playing the beta up on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash classy man I am. Uh, or you could go to scotchandsmokerings.com and see videos of me playing the beta. There are plenty of videos out there of me playing the beta. Of the beta. In fact, I actually have some here on Twitch TV. If you click on the videos tab, you can see the dance animations that I recorded here at scotchandsmokerings.com. All 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is 8 o'clock, the time I usually close this program, but I haven't blown my smoke ship yet. Like Gandalf, since we're on a Tolkien kick here, I have uh, the ability to blow into existence a beautiful piece of art, blown and created out of nothing but smoke. So, I actually take requests here. Would you like to see a Zeppelin? Maybe a dinghy? Or a galleon? What kind of ship would you like me to blow into existence? And what kind of scene would you like going on in this smoke ship? What is your preference? I will do my very best to satisfy. Vapor this time says Randoran. Yes, thank you for correcting me. It is indeed Vapor this time. Haskam says, I'm Norwegian, and knowing the barbarian history of the Vikings and Norse lore, feel that Thor is really butchered and Americanized superhero. He is not a god, a superhero anyway. Oh, he's a god, not a superhero anyway. I'd love to see Marvel make a comic about Jesus or some other holy character. I would really love to see some actual Norwegians and Swedes who think Thor is a real and holy person of history and not just a fictionalized character from the past. Saiken says 10 panda bear bodies with a giant panda exterminator with turtles flying around his earlobes with elves being shot by Mortus, Oxhorn, and Staghorn covered in bacon and syrup with a bunch of smoke. Very nice. Autumn says Oxhorn and Nova on a giant armored airship shaped like a turtle floating through clouds of smoke rings and shooting gnomes strapped to the bombs down at the Alliance down below. Oh, gnomes are strapped to bombs. There you go. Haskum says, did I just offend Oxhorn? My friend, I don't get offended. Look at my shoulders. They are broad and thick. Thick shoulders cannot get offended. Just saying. I only get offended if you think that I've been offended, but since I can't get offended, I'm not offended by that. Ox watching the Avengers on a bacon ship when Mort makes a surprise appearance and takes out the whole team while Ox and Stag sit back in the theater eating panda pizzas? Thick like a Viking? <laughs> My friend, I am Irish. If anything, I uh, am more akin to Cahulan of Mirthimne. You know, the Irish, the great Irish folklore and legends? Tuatha de Danan. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Pleepo says, a goblin-infested corvette with wings jumping over a black and white rainbow while eating pumpkin cake with nothing but spider jumping through the buildings and gouging eyeballs? Dude, what is this, a Tim Burton movie? Come on, man. <laughs> That's some graphicness there. Ah, oh, Veltinar called me a potato eater. My friend. I can't eat potatoes. Gluten intolerance, my friend. A uh, flying horde zeppelin driven by gnome juice, ew, that drives through a thunderstorm with lightning that hits the ship as it fires a massive lightning bolt towards the panda zilla that is attacking Orgrimmar, says El Toro Guaco. <laughs> That's actually a great idea. <laughs> okay, so what, what was that again? A flying horde zeppelin driven by gnome juice that drives through a thunderstorm with lightning that hits the ship as it fires a massive lightning bolt towards... Oh, it flew off the screen. Uh, towards the Pandazilla that is attacking Orgrimmar. That's very nice. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's great. Uh, I'm going to scroll up here. Nova Domina says uh, Yeah. I believe it's pronounced Cuchulain, but it's spelled Cuchulain. Uh, but he's a great Irish hero of folklore. I actually have a great a book on him that I'll have to share with you. Okay, what was it? Uh, Flying Horde Zeppelin. Yeah, that's great. That's a great one, El Toro. Guaco, anything with lightning and gnome juice tickles my fancy. So here we go.
Whoa! Did you see it? I hope you didn't blink, because if you did, you missed it. But, for the briefest of moments, there was a giant flying horde zeppelin skipping through the air, driven on nothing but gnome juice. That's right, you saw the gnomes on deck being ground into a thick paste of juice, and that was the fuel of the zeppelin. It was flying through a thunderstorm while lightning hits the zeppelin and is consequently diverted through the zeppelin's weapons towards the giant pandazilla that is attacking Orgrimmar. Only at scotchandsmokerings.com, my friends. Only at scotchandsmokerings.com. Thank you, El Toro Guaco, for such a fan fantastic smoke ship idea and thank you everyone for contributing maybe next week it will be your smoke ship that is uh, blown into existence i hope you liked it and took a screenshot share with me your screenshots just for posterity's sake anyway i uh, thank you all for coming to this week's episode of scotch and smoke rings episode 148 thank you to leslie for doing the transcriptions you are awesome and as always my friends be sure to follow me on twitter twitter.com slash user slash oxhorn or is it twitter.com slash oxhorn anyway I'm on Twitter, at Oxhorn. I'm on Facebook, facebook.com slash Oxhorn page. Check out scotchandsmokewings.com to see past episodes and to see the replay of this episode. Oxhorn.com for more Oxhorn updates. And as always, my friends, be sure to stay classy.